Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you what I do in a work week as a radio station program director. There is actually a lot to do today, so I figured that today would be the perfect day to start filming because I feel like I don't really have a typical job. This is definitely the most unique job that I've ever had. So I wanted to share what I do in a typical work day. I started off as an intern during my last semester in college for my school's radio station, Pause Radio. Then after I graduated, I was offered an extended position for another semester as the student program director. So basically my job entails that I create scripts um, for the radio station. I write promos for local businesses around the valley. I also write scripts about current events going on on campus and things like that. And then I record them here at home. I put some music over it, add some sound effects, and I send it over to my boss and she puts it on the air. So I am currently on the air. And this is such a fun job experience, probably the best job I've ever had. And I'm really excited to share what I do with you guys. I love that I get to be creative every single day. I get to create my own hours. I don't have a specific like clock in, clock out time. It's currently 12. So basically whenever I get done with my duties, I'm done for the day. If I don't get done with my duties I can always stop and you know do it tomorrow or the next day I don't have a like set schedule which I love and I also get to work from home apparently it's take your bestie to work day so come on best friend let's go get some work done let's do it okay so let me tell you what's on the schedule for today so I didn't tell you this yet, um, but because of my job, I've actually had the opportunity to create my own podcast for the radio station. It's called Educated, and it's a podcast made for students by an alumni, me. And basically, every week we talk about personal stories, self-improvement advice. I have current students and alumni write into me with their uh, concerns, something that they need advice on. We talk about general student-related topics, and it's a really fun time, and it's been such a great creative outlet for me and I've been loving it. I'm so proud of it and it's allowed me to get a lot of practice for when I want to make my own podcast for myself. So that's really cool. So basically today I need to finalize the script for episode three. I'm supposed to upload it tomorrow because today's Tuesday. We upload every Wednesday. It also goes live on the radio station every Friday at one. So if you happen to miss it on air, you can listen in on Spotify, Google Podcasts, Radio Public, Pocket Casts, a whole bunch of other places. I'll leave them in the description box down below if you guys are interested. But yeah, so I need to finish the script, record the podcast, edit the podcast, and then my boss asked me to write a promotion for the podcast so that she could read it and edit it. And basically, she's just going to be promoting the podcast and telling listeners to uh, tune in. So that's really fun. And I have a couple emails I need to send out regarding graduation deadlines so I can create a script for that. Also, we're going to be working with the Boys and Girls Club in Palm Springs. The students from the communication department are going to be doing like some PR for them. So I need to create a script basically promoting them and also saying that we're going to be talking about them a lot because the media studies students are creating their own um, promotions for them that I believe are going to air on the radio as well. And yesterday I got word that apparently face-to-face in-person classes are happening again in the fall and maybe even in the summer. And I was, was taken aback. I was like, how is this possible? But apparently we're doing well COVID-wise. Apparently. <laughs> that seems like something that is so far off. I felt like for so long, in person anything was never gonna happen again it just it feels so strange and crazy it's been a long year <laughs> it doesn't really matter to me if students go back on campus because i already graduated but i know the feeling of virtual learning and you know sometimes it, it sucks so good for them if you get to go back to campus but fingers crossed so i have to do an ad read about that but my number one priority today is to finish the podcast because that goes up tomorrow so that's very time sensitive so i'm gonna get started because i i have my work cut out for me okay so i basically just take all my notes on my computer for the podcast and today's podcast for episode three is all about balancing college work and personal life so i'm gonna get started on that and um 
yeah, montage. <laughs> So it's almost like two and a half hours later and I'm finally done with the script. So this is what episode three looks like. It's based on a question that a listener wrote in um, asking for advice on how to create balance in their life as a student. So that's what today's episode is about. I have here my handy dandy microphone that I'm just going to use to record. Um, this is actually my microphone. I purchased it for video purposes and it came in handy with this job because I didn't have to get any like equipment sent in to me since I am doing a lot of like audio pieces that require like crisp audio. So I just basically record from here. I import the audio from my microphone to my laptop and then I edit it on Adobe Audition. So I'll show you what that looks like right now. It's pretty fun. It's a pretty fun time, if I do say so myself. So you're actually in the spot where my microphone goes. So I'm just gonna move you, okay? Sorry about that. Gotta make room for my microphone. So first what I need to do is check my levels. That little bar right here that keeps moving is the sound of my voice. I don't wanna be too loud or my voice be too low, so I like to check the levels beforehand. I'm just gonna say, hey there, I'm your host, Alyssa Ray, and you're listening to Educated, a podcast made for students by a former student turned alumni. Listen in every week as I talk you through personal stories, self-improvement advice, and much more. Educated is brought to you by Pause Radio, the only jazz station in the Coachella Valley. The Educated Podcast starts now. So, something like that. <laughs> it's a little bit of a long test run, but let's see the levels real quick. Hey there, I'm your host, Alyssa Ray, and you're listening to Educated, a podcast made for students by a former student turned alumni. Listen in every week. I'm going to move it just a little bit more to the back because you never know if there's going to be a part in the script where I laugh or my voice levels like go higher than normal. So I'm going to put that back there. But other than that, everything sounds good. So I'm going to get started. Hello, hello there. I'm your host, Alyssa Ray, and welcome to episode three of Educated. How is everyone feeling? Are we doing well? Are we thriving? Or are we hanging on by a thread today? Because personally, I could go either way at this point. I'm trying to keep it positive here, but the universe, Miss Universe, has been testing me lately. She loves to give me pop quizzes on things I didn't study or prepare for, and it's been a little tough lately. Which actually brings me to the topic of today's episode, which is balancing college, work, and personal life. So get this, this is actually really cool because we got our first ever official email sent in from a listener that inspired today's episode. So now that I finished recording the podcast, it's time to edit it in the Adobe Audition software that I have. It's really cool actually that my job provides me with unlimited access to Adobe programs. So I have access to Audition, um, Photoshop, and all kinds of things like that. So I just open her up. And then I just drop my files in and I start editing. I actually learned how to use this software when I took a class from my boss, who was my professor then. So yeah, I learned everything from her and I'm really grateful. I'm about to eat lunch right now, so I think I'm gonna edit this while I eat and it'll be really quick. And then hopefully we can do some other stuff together. That way this video isn't like completely centered around the podcast. I did want to get to other things today, but I'm taking forever. Like. Usually I feel like it doesn't take me this long to do a podcast. Okay, so update. I just finished the run-through of the podcast. This is a rough draft, 
but I'm basically done with all of it. Tomorrow I will go ahead and listen to it several times, see if there's anything I need to edit out or edit in, add sound effects, some music, and then I will upload it to Spotify. So with that being said, I think what I'm gonna do right now is go ahead and write that script for my boss for the promotion for the podcast um, because the rest of the stuff on my to-do list is not time sensitive. So I think I'm just going to do that really quick just to show you what it's like to um, write a script and yeah, that should be pretty easy, pretty fun. I've been working for like five hours already, so I'm tired. It's tiring sitting at a desk in your room all day just staring at a bunch of books. This is what I'm looking at. This is what I'm looking at right here. Like, it's a beautiful bookshelf. It's beautiful. It's stunning. But I want to go outside. <laughs> I want to, like, relax. Take a shower. Take a nap. You know? I guess let's go ahead and write a promotion. I mean, I already wrote one for myself, but she wanted me to create one for her to read. She was like, I don't know if you want someone else to read it for you so that it doesn't sound, like, weird, like go listen to my podcast instead it'll be like go listen to this podcast by this person and blah blah which i completely understand and that would be ideal but i didn't know if she'd be down to do that and i didn't really want to ask but she offered so here we are so this is the promotion that i did i think i'm going to kind of do roughly the same script but like change things around hey again it's your program director here at pause radio with a special announcement Pause Radio is proud to present Educated, a weekly podcast all about the journey and challenges that come with being a student. Tune in every Wednesday as host and CSUSB alumni Alyssa Ray talks you through personal <laughs> stories, self-improvement advice, and much more. Check us out on Spotify, Breaker, or Pocket Casts by searching our name, Educated. Trust me, this is one podcast you don't want to miss. <laughs> So yeah, that is a promotion that I did. So I basically am gonna do the same thing for my boss to do. I don't know if she's looking for me to give her a completely new script, but I felt like I said it all with this script. So maybe I'll just like switch a few words around. I don't know what to say. Should I, I don't know if I should be like, are you a student? Do you need advice and blah, blah, blah? Or, or if I should just say, Pause Radio is proud to present Educated. Yeah, I think I'll just... Okay, so I've been working on this a little bit, and here's what I got so far. Hey there, station manager Lacey here with a special announcement. Pause Radio is proud to present Educated, a weekly podcast all about the journey and challenges that come with being a student. Tune in every Friday at 1 p.m. right here at Pause Radio as host and CSUSB alumni Alyssa Ray talks you through personal stories, self-improvement advice, and much more. For your inconvenience, you can also find... Did I say inconvenience? <laughs> For your convenience, you can also find Educated on Spotify, Google Podcasts, and Breaker. Educated, the newest podcast playing on the coolest station in the desert. I said that because that's the slogan for the radio station so it's supposed to be like a 30 second promo so with like the little bit of uh intro music in the beginning and then the little bit of outro music at the end i believe we're roughly at 20 30 seconds there plus she's a professional so she can spice it up and add more or change things if she feels the need to i'm just going to email that to her and then I'm, I'm, I'm done. It's getting dark. As you can see, the light is going away. So give me one second. So that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Today was a pretty good work day. We got about five and a half hours done today, which is a very good work day for me. We got everything we needed to get done today. And I just have to upload the podcast tomorrow. You know, finish up the rest of the stuff that I have to do for the week. But I would say that this was a pretty productive day. If you like this video and you maybe want me to do another one or if you have questions about what it is that I do on a day-to-day -day basis, if you want to see me do like the rest of the stuff that I didn't do today, feel free to comment that down below and let me know. I'd be willing to make a video because I'm doing this on the daily so why not 
kill two birds with one stone and give you guys content and work at the same time if there's any other videos that you guys want to see please feel free to leave suggestions in the comments down below but other than that that is it for this week's video i hope that you liked it if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe down below for new videos every single week as always i love you guys very much and i will see you in the next one bye